here in Las Vegas, a labor forum featuring 18 Democratic presidential candidates was interrupted by the news of the shooting. Several candidates reacting in real time, reigniting their calls for gun control. I've got to share something with you that, that I just learned. Former Congressman Beto O'Rourke sharing the news with the crowd in Las Vegas. Another mass shooting in America, this time in his hometown. I'm thinking about El Paso. I want you to be thinking about El Paso as well. O'Rourke becoming audibly angry after learning the gunman used an assault style rifle. Keep that on the battlefield. Do not bring it into our communities. I don't want to see it in our malls or in our schools or in our churches or in our synagogues. O'Rourke then rallying the crowd, demanding action to prevent more mass shootings. You know, any illusion that we had that um, progress is inevitable or that the change that we need is going to come of its own accord, shattered in, in moments like these, uh, and, and that is upon every single one of us. There, there is no luxury in this democracy uh, of sitting this one out. But Beto wasn't the only candidate calling for more gun control. America is under attack. Uh, I'm not sure if this is fully understood. America is under attack by lethal, violent, white nationalist terrorism. And if we're serious about confronting it, that means we have to have a different conversation than this hand-wringing and thoughts and prayers and, you know, that's too bad. Uh, this is a national security emergency. This is a very personal issue for me because every day we wait, more people are dying all around America, roughly 100 a day. And so enough is enough. I put out the boldest plan because I'm determined not to let the NRA or the corporate gun lobby dictate this debate. It is time long overdue for the United States Senate to begin to do what the American people want, and that is pass common sense gun safety legislation. Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman also tweeting about the tragedy in Texas, saying heartbroken to see such a horrible and unnecessary tragedy in El Paso. Today is also a tough day for survivors of the 1 October shooting. The Vegas Stronger Resiliency Center Distress Helpline is available 24-7. The number to call is 800-985-5990. Meanwhile, our coverage does not end here. We will bring you updates on air and online at KTNV.com as well as our mobile app.